Today we have got an extra special episode for oh, y'all. Yeah. We have been contacted by the owner of a takeaway in our local area who's reached out to us, sent us a DM and asked us to review his food. He's given it us all for free and we've just opened a box now and he's left little labels with the Rago Bloom boys. Wow. What a legend. How you doing, mate? Oh, what? You didn't have to do that. Thank no, right, you. That's all right. Big shout out to Darius, German, Donna Kings, giving us some free food tonight <laughs> to review. Wow, there's a lot of food, mate, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it, guys. Thank you so much, mate. Yeah. We've got to be honest, <laughs> but I'm sure it's going to be yeah. delicious. <laughs> okay. Cheers, Come mate. Thank you very much. We're going to head there to the spot to eat the food, but one thing I'll say straight away is, that food is smelling hella good right about hella now. Good, thank you. I have not eaten food all no, day. Big shout out to Darius. Thank you very much. We're going to rate it now, but just because he's given us a massive discount, aka freebies, freebies. Food. doesn't mean we're going to wow. start lying, chatting shit. Because one be thing you always get on this channel is the truth. and watch us eat food. German Donner King. Not to be mistaken with German Donner Kebab, so do not get that twisted. Yeah. It's German Donner King in Boscom Bournemouth. Right, today we are eating, and this is what he's given us. Times three. Three loaded Donner Crunchy Fries. Three Crunchy Donner Wraps. Three chili soups with add-ons, two portions of halloumi fries, mm -hmm. one which is Cajun, one which is garlic and herb. And we've also he's thrown in one portion of signature mini chicken Kievs to try. Go on. A lot of food oh, codes. He gave us a promo code of my G McBangs so we could get it all for free. One like time I say, only. Well done, it's a one time only but Here big old discount coming up. Promo code. One time only use. But we're going to reach out to him and we're going to ask him if he can do a little promo code for you lot. So we're not promising anything, but let's see. Follow us now on Instagram to interact with the Rago Bloom Brothers. Give us all your thoughts and suggestions for future content. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel now and leave a like on this video. Legend. Anyway, let's get into this. What are we starting with? Because there's that much food, we're going to have to try a little bit of each one. I haven't eaten since 10 o'clock this morning. Mm -mm. It's 20 past 9 now at night. Right, so I'm going to get it all out, so you're going to have to skip all this. He's provided us with a few different dips. We've got a picante, a hot sauce, and what looks like a oh, garlic right. and herb. Oh, there's a cheese sauce, I think, as well. Oh, he's also hit us with oh, the cheese oh, sauce. Demo, looks like he's given us one of everything, so we can looks try like them all. Looks like he's given us multiple of everything. There's shit loads. Wow. Look at this shit. Rago Green Mukbang stickers, my G. <laughs> wow, what a legend. They're going on the bedroom wall. So, <laughs> what we've got here. <laughs> you guys going to look like a shit. So. <laughs> Signature garlic and herb halloumi fries. Let me crack a window in this bit. Right, shall we start with the soup? So this soup is like minced meat and vegetables. Mate, put them chips in the cardboard and shut the cardboard because it's an insulator. Keep everything warm. Get your soup. Rago Bloom signature mild beef chili soup. Wow. Now, normally I can see something and I instantly think I know what it's going to taste like. Chili soup. I couldn't I, tell you what this is going to taste like at all. This guy's absolutely smashed. He's also provided us a serviette with a spoon for the soup. What a legend. Already you get points. Not not because it's free. I mean, you get points for that. If you're a regular, you know, we've had places that don't give tissue and don't give cutlery. So and tissue box. Very good packaging, cardboard. We all know cardboard's an insulator. It keeps everything nice and warm. This is the soup. He's put the crouton separate to tip into the soup. You've got a choice of black pepper and sea salt flavor or garlic and herb when it comes to the croutons. You tip them in as you go so they don't go too soggy. So it looks like this, if you can see that. I can't obviously tip the soup everywhere. Let's all over the mountain. I'm just gonna tip a couple of them in for Be now. careful, because it's, it's hot. But I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. And as I was saying, Donner meat is Turkish. We always get like a Donner kebab from a Turkish shop. This is first German Donner ever. Let's this is piping hot. Touch tips. Soup tips. Soup tips. Oh. Wow. Here we go, galaxies. Looks Here we hot. go. Here we go, galaxy. Here we go. Here we go. Shut the fuck up. 
Yeah. That, that's hearty. Mmm. Trying mm. to work out what it is. Tastes like chili con carne almost. I just had a kick at the back of my throat. <clears throat> if you're... That what? is delicious. It's like this with crusty bread, mate. Yeah. Go, oh. On a winter's night. Pissing it down. It's nice and thick. Like, it's not too thick where it's like lumpy, but yeah, it's, it's like, not like liquefied. He's got the consistency fucking. absolutely bang on. It's piping hot. It's fucking scalding. Good. You don't want it cold. Even There's a better. blister on my tongue. I don't really know what to compare it to. It's ground minced meat. Yeah. Like, blended up really fine. It's really Soup. well seasoned. You don't need to add anything to it. Right. There's so more. much we have to get through that we'll finish it off afterwards, yeah. but we need to get through this stuff. We need to go hot. for halloumi because halloumi mm. cold is dead. Exactly. Yeah, well, let's let's go back to the soup because that's piping hot. I can't get through right. it anyway. This is signature Cajun halloumi fries. Get that hot sauce popping ah. and let's go for some of this shit. I don't know where to put it. God damn! What was that that I just knocked over? Sauce, bro. Right, grab a fry. I'm going to dip. Okay. Right. I'm gonna try it without the dip first. Touch tips. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Nice consistency. Oh my. Oh my fucking god. Oh shit. I love halloumi. Fuck that me. doesn't need dip. Oh, but it. To does. say that we've travelled all the way here, the halloumi's still hot. It's not rubbery at all. It's kept its consistency, its texture. The batter is so well seasoned they and flavoured. Delicious. Mate, I'm having this. There's one more in there that you boys can share. Cajun. Fuck you. This is mine. Wow. I don't know. I'm not massive on them. You I don't prefer... want that? No. You don't you want half of that? Go on, then. I prefer um, normal halloumi without batter on. Really? What? Yeah, I always nah. have done. Yeah. Nah. That is absolutely delicious. What dips has everyone got? Hot fries, sauce? Mate. I've got hot. Do you know what? I'm going to dip it into that cheese sauce because I'm are, cheesy, but I They are delicious. But halloumi, I just think plain halloumi in a frying pan, mate, is the way you go with that shit. Nah, no, Hold on. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Right. Next up. Mm. That hot sauce is nice. Next up, we got some signature mini chicken kievs yeah okay i'm looking forward to Look these. these puppies wow go on, max grab one to show the camera mini ch chicken kievs you know homemade that, homemade i think thousand island sauce picante is it picante right i'm gonna try this without um dipping it i want to try it without dipping it first then oh, really? be careful with these motherfuckers because that'll probably explode Touch in tip, the middle. Bitch. i need a bag you need a job. Word today is job. J O B. J O B. Oh shit, I dipped it. That's the best thing so far. Mmm. Wow. Mate. Oh my god. That sauce with You that. guys are thinking, are you just gonna talk? Mate. This is fucking nice. How have it's... I never heard of this place before? That sauce is banging as well. Have you had that sauce? Huh. I think like that's the same one I've got in it. That is legit chicken. That ain't no frozen shit. There's one more of them, I will have that. Go on. Not Not so far. Yeah, have it. Just in case you didn't know, this is German Donner King Bournemouth. If you're in the area, you need to hit this place up. This ain't no joke. Yeah, fair enough. It was free. But... It's fucking nice. I can tell you right now, I'll be going back there. Yeah. I'll be putting that money back in the till, yeah. mate. Do not worry. Right. One thing, let me quickly say about that chicken, um, them chicken balls, the chicken Kievs, is you know when you've had like a shitty frozen chicken ball or chicken nugget or something yeah. like that, you can tell that's chicken never market. been frozen in its life. That's fresh. Where's this halloumi? The next one. That soup with fucking bread, mate. Crispy tiger bread. Oh shit. We'll go off. What? Donna loaded fries. Hang on, let's do the last halloumi before they go. Yeah, you're right. You got hit, you got hit that go halloumi. On, go. Oh yeah, I've got them here. Egypt. So hungry. Signature garlic and herb halloumi fries. Garlic and herb. Get some. Go on then, let me try your sauce, Charlie. Touch tips. Oh. Touch the. Base. I'm trying it bare. Bare first. back, motherfucker. Ah.
Let me see what that's saying. No. I prefer that one to the Cajun. I prefer the Cajun. It's like the casing is protecting the cheese from losing its texture. Nah, mate. They are fire, mate. What? Whoever it's two Whoever left. Whoever fucking I'm on one. Halloumi is a G. Battle it out. Half and half, that one. I want to get involved again. Everything's boiling and nice and warm. It's nothing's so tepid, good. I... nothing's cold. It's all hot, which is a fucking necessity when you're ordering a takeout. A simple bare necessity. Write in the comments if you know what movie that's from. Look at this cheese, bro. I'm gonna go in with the garlic and herb. Some say I'm crazy. Mmm. The oh, moment... he's... oh, shit. <laughs> nah. Hold on, is there another wooden fork? Yeah, Holy got... shit, so. That cheese is fire, bro. You need to try this cheese. Hold I up. think there's some on this fucking Donna loaded thing anyway. The texture and consistency of that cheese, man. Why? Oh, Wowzers, shit. I just made a mess in my trousers. <laughs> Why the fuck up and get these loaded fries out? Because I need to hit that. Loaded Donna crunchy fries with the Rego Blue mukbang sign. Did you say there's a fork? Yeah, I've given you it, mate. Isn't that spoon? Nah, it's not. I ain't got no fuck, motherfucker. Oh, shit. I'm going in bareback then, fuck it. Nah, there's cheese sauce all over it. You ain't going bareback. Well, what, why ain't I got no fork, Wait, does it? Yeah. So you didn't give me one then? I did give you one, so you put it Clearly in not. You give me a spoon. Nah, I didn't. Look at that. Nah, that's a spoon as well, my G. Look at this, guys. Wow. Yeah, that's the same cheese. You got Donna meat. You had a choice of beef and chicken, or just beef or just chicken. We got the beef and chicken on the wrap, so we're just gone for the just the beef on the uh, the chips. Holy shit, this looks good. I'm going to hit it. That's the kind of shit that I would see Fuck and you. instantly be jealous, thinking I want that. Broski. Let me go. Broski. Let me at them. Oh, shit. That doesn't taste like Turkish, Donna. That has got its own shit. Fuck. That Donna meat I've is never banging. had that flavour Donna in my nah, life. Nah, that is different. It's like rich. Where's my chilli sauce? The chips. Getting the chilli sauce. Where oh, shit. Fuck? I'm going to put some of this on. Bro, I'm in heaven. I am in heaven right this now. This is crazy. This is crazy. Wowzers. What hot sauce are you using there? Yeah. There's one there. Look at this, guys. It's got red onion. It's got green chilies. It's got, um, what's that refreshing stuff? Parsley, is it? Who knows? Either way. Basil. Look at that. Basil brush. Right, I've just put some chilli sauce on this. Let's get some. It's delicious. Even if I was flying past, I would just order a box of this. This alone is enough to fill you up. You're getting your chips and your donami and cheese. The chips hold the crunch. No, it's not. The chips are at the bottom, so you're like, are these going to be soggy? They're not. They're still crispy somehow. Crispy under a layer of donami and shit. This is different, guys. This is different. This is crazy. I could quite easily fill up on these right now, but we've got a full wrap. Mate, you need to stop me now then, because I am pigging out, bro. Look at that. I am pigging out. Put that to the side. Regular mixed beef and chicken, garlic sauce and hot sauce. There's wrap. a full portion of Jockey's Whips there, standard. It's no need to these in. Let me taste one of these regular fries. Regular fry. Salty. Crispy. They're oh, fucking delicious. Delicious, then. Oh my god. What the actual fuck? I am just saying. <laughs> it's free, I swear. You don't need to add anything to them. You don't. But just because I'm a little whore. I didn't even get a pack. I'm going to dip them into the old yeah, cheese. I might have done, but I don't know where to fuck they are. Right. They're salty like Mackey's. Right, we're going to do this one. Oh, we're going to eat this. Shit. This is a big wrap. Once this is open, you can just dip wherever you want to go. Yes. Yeah. This. yeah. That's and we'll the get, giraffe yeah, out there. Yeah. Oh, fuck about. This guy is not messing around. Check this. Holy shit. What is it, panini? It's a wrap. And he's crisped it up. Keeping it nice and warm in the cardboard. That's genius. Then inside tin foil, more insulation. Genius. Then you pull it out of there. It's making me mouth water. Just to throw it out there again, guys. German Donner King. Not German Donner Kebab, the one down the road that no one likes. 
German Donna King. Yeah. Hey, Touch tips with Whoa. me. Whoa. I need to get involved. Get your tip involved, but get the hell out of here. Yeah, Whoa. Yeah. Jesus. Where to go with this? Oh my. That makes me feel like I'm abroad. Mm. Mm. I was just about to say, that's got holiday vibes. Am I in Albufeira at a kebab stand? Because that's how I feel right now. Yeah, like I've just done a seven hour stint on the dance floor. Wow. I'm gonna fucking mark this white off. Mm -hmm. You know Saucy. The, do you know what the uh, flavor of the rat reminds me of? Like a uh, gyros from Greece, like a gyro or gyros, whatever yeah. the fuck they're called. The flavor of the rat's got a bit of that going on. Oh, wow. Oh. This is next level. I'm so glad as well because I was scared, you know. Darius, the owner of um, German Donna King, he messaged us on Instagram and said, yeah, boys, I've seen your videos. I know you do local reviews. Do you fancy coming review mine? All on the house. Come and have a go. And I instantly thought, has he watched any of our videos? Because we go ruthless. Yeah, also. we give the truth, the hardcore truth. And if we think something's shit, we, we tell you. Yeah. Plain black and white, that's what you get from us. So in my head, I was like, do I really want to take all that food from him? Because if it's shit, I'm going to have to tell the people it's shit. And then he's going to be gutted. Yeah. He started using words like, we're revolutionizing the way that Donna kebabs are made. I thought revolutionizing, that's a big word, mate. In it. First, you had my curiosity, but now you got my attention. Yeah. That's, and I'll tell you right now, I know why he was so confident because everything we've eaten here has had flavor, texture, it's got the heat to go with it, nothing's cold, it's packaged well. This is a fucking good time. It? Well done, Darius, I'll say that right now. To Darius. Right. Don't look at me while I'm eating this. Look at me, don't be dead in the eye. I'm glad we kept that tomato in there. I'm not a big fan of tomato, but it just it l gives it a little bit of life. Like when you start going down the Donna tunnel and then boom, you hit tomato. And it's like, oh shit, fresh. The Donna it. meat's on point. I'm sorry if I look a fucking mess and shit all on my mouth. There's Do nothing I can do about it. I've never gone that deep with some food. Have you got those chips on the road? Right? Yeah. That's amazing, motherfucker. Would you rather be a knight in the medieval times or a cowboy in the western times? Hmm. <laughs> Am I a wealthy knight and a wealthy cowboy? I'm not one of those knights that's like the top rank. I'm a You're just average. Fuck. So I'm slaying in a tent every night if I'm a cowboy now. Mm. I don't know, you hit the saloon sometimes. Ooh. Okay. The saloon sounds good, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of tins of beans yeah. over a fire in the desert. Well, the way I look at it like this. Knights, and what we've been told. Uh, carrying heavy ass chainmail around, bare metal, gotta keep entering combat. That's how you're getting your money. You know what I'm saying? Where are you living? You're constantly touring around the country, but from tournament to tournament to tournament. Do you mean that sort of night? Or do you mean like wage war battle, real night? Like Game of Thrones, a night securing the lands. Fuck, you're always in trouble. In it. This is the message shit. Give us some real tissue, please, tissue boy. Fucking suffering. Good. Fuck me. And then if you've noticed what a bitch Charlie can be. In it. Yeah. He's the Karen of the group. Straight Karen. Such a Karen. Covers in Do you know what? I think Charlie's on the intro was. of our videos, we need to change his name to Karen. In it. J Max and Karen. I can't believe that. That was absolutely delicious. Mate, I would ride through the fucking West on horseback with a sawn off shotgun in a sheesh and turn up at the saloon and get absolutely fucked up on whiskey, my G. Yeah. The whiskey at the saloon, that sells it. And then just have a fight to end the night. But then again, what about like <gasps> horns of fucking red wine? <gasps> Ooh. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you're in a castle around a fire in the castle doors. Mate, get me some tissue, please. There you go. There's a rag for you, please. Charlie, look what I need. Help me. I'm sorry. Nothing I can do. Tissue, tissue one. boy. This is underperforming. The I think going back to the loaded fries. What I, we should have done. Obviously, he's wrapped it like that. Maybe I should have used that cocoon around the bottom of the wrap. Well, I know for next time, absolutely exquisite. I prefer that to eating it out of a pit of bread. Yeah, the wrap. Pit of bread. Mm, it's I do like love a pit of bread and an amber. It goes dry, naan bread's too much, a wrap, toasted. I can get through that. Mate, these loaded fries is all you need. You just get yourself a big box of these loaded fries. Delicious. Or just a kebab. Portion of fucking halloumi fries in one of those wraps. 
Good to go. Yeah, I'm full to the brim. I am full. What I'll say though, uh, the old fucking Western thing. I'm a man who likes to wear comfy clothing. Probably because I'm slightly on the obese, uh, obese side. side. So if I was a knight, would I really? I would be uncomfortable. It would fuck me off wearing all that stuff. At least with a cowboy. Mate. I'm in the desert at the end of the evening. The sun's setting. I'm chilling. Me in the outback with the boy them or whoever, sat around the fire, beef jerky, comfier clothes, atmosphere, lovely. In the medieval times, what I'm fucking about, rolling around in dirt, always muddy, always cold, always fucking got metal on me. Let's yeah. think of the dangers. Nah. Right, for starters, medieval, you're patrolling the roads and shit, but there's always, like, the opposing towns that are coming over to try and invade. Yeah, it's like <clears> every other day. Yeah, and then in cowboy times, there's also bandits. Every time you're out in the wild and you see people moving in the distance, they probably want to rob you. Yeah, you got gold. Yeah, but the difference is the only people that you're going to encounter that want to fight you is another knight. So it's going to be like a battle of who's the best every time you have a fight whereas if you're a cowboy someone tries to rob you and you're a shit hot gunslinger and then just a little mickey mouse bandit tries to fucking chav you at the end of the road you just fucking pop one in and ride off mate it's like the combat isn't as bad unless the native americans come with the bow and arrows and shit you fucked bro yeah but you see seen the beginning of revenant get fucked up in reality i think native Amer americans are painted in a bad picture like the called natives for a reason they were originally there so you are just in cowboy times and they hate you yeah. can't start looking changing the rules now i'll be a cowboy yeah, yeah. fuck being a knight and i want to rob a train holy shit i'm full i want to jump on horseback with the boys oh here it comes the train wild wild west gallop next to it jump on you know the score the that train? would be sick and I'd be trying to mine gold. <clears throat> yeah. And I think everyone got rich around that time. You know, like, rail tracks had just... They're getting laid down, like, train tracks. Mm. Yeah. Oil starts getting fucking mined. Mm. Gold prosper. Yeah, the gold like, rush. Yeah. I'd just be a thief. I would be the bandit. This is the finale of why I'd be a cowboy. Because I've got a problem with authority. Don't like being told what to do. And when you're a knight, you got the king belling you up every two minutes. The old raven in the sky. No. Right, get your metal on. Come on. Need you to go and joust in this tournament or need you to go and sort this battle out. You're on call, mate, constantly. Yeah, I don't well, want to work for you. When you were cowboy, you got the world. The world's your oyster, you and the horseback it, and the freedom. I am a cowboy inside, you're bro. You're chilling as a knight having a bath for the first time in two weeks <laughs> and the king just comes in and goes, right, finish we've your got red a, wine. We've got to walk 600 miles to the next No, nah, he's like, fuck, like, you know, sorry? you want to drink as much red wine as you want because tomorrow trial of combat for me. <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. He's like, yeah, my life's online, but I'm asking you to fight for me. It yeah, is. congratulations, you're my champion. And, and, and by like? the way, how was me a second-hand bath water? In it. In it. It couldn't have been that good, really, been a night. More well, I think about it, shit it is. And you'd just be stood at a door, you know, like, uh, you're just on watch, so you're just stood outside the door, and it's like midnight, and you're just guarding the door like a security guard, and you're just like, fuck me. In it. <laughs> Get my plates and meat <laughs> out of these boots. <laughs> Let me lie down. In it. <laughs> It. Takes yeah, you an but, hour a day to get ready. Right. He has actually revolutionised some shit there. Yeah. yeah. Fair play. I'm not gonna lie, I got a bit of a sweet tooth. You could have threw a brownie in or something. <laughs> I'm only joking, Matt. I'm only joking. Nah, no, that was fucking well nice, that. Revolutionary is a big word, my friends, and you lived up to it. Well done. German Donna Kings, Bournemouth, smashing it. I yeah. will be going back. 100%. Let's rate this takeaway. I went from starving to full up real quick. Packaged well, good temperature, good texture, flavour, well seasoned. Didn't need to add any salt or anything to the chips. For fuck's sake, I've got chilli sauce all on me fucking trackies and I've just pulled these out the wash. Follow us now on Instagram to interact with the Rago Bloom brothers. Give us all your thoughts and suggestions for future content. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel now and leave a like on this video. Legends. One of the best chips out there. And that's coming from you and you slag chips off to fuck all the time. I'm going to give that restaurant 8.7. Everything's banging. I'd go higher. I'd go 9.2. I'd go 9.5. 9.1. 9.1. To German Donna Kings. Highest rating me, yet. Highest rated takeaway in Bournemouth 
by miles. One more big thank you to Darius. If you guys behind the camera subscribe and you people who live in Bournemouth and shit, hit Darius up, it'll all pay off. We've got an announcement to make. Oh, Subscribers yeah. Subscribers are hard to hit these days, yeah? Everyone's watching it, but apparently like 95% of people aren't subscribed, which is fine, you don't have to. But as a bit of incentive, we thought the one chip challenge, he's bagging it. So am I. I'm bagging it. We're all bagging it. If you want to see us do it, you know what to do. <laughs> If you want to see us do more of these videos, then like it and share it and subscribe. Cause it's getting pretty fucking expensive. We need to get monetized. Cause it's getting pretty fucking expensive. We can't afford loaded fries. Like it and share it and subscribe.